Sharing the developing story in the South Bay, where a San Jose police officer remains hospitalized after she was shot reporting to a call. KTVU reporter Bailey O'Carroll is at Santa Clara Valley Medical Center with what we know about what happened and how the officer is doing. Bailey? Hey, Ali, good morning. That's right. This officer is being treated here in San Jose this morning at this hospital right behind me. Now, according to police, she is in critical but stable condition. They have not released uh, her name yet this morning. What we do know is that she was shot uh, when she was responding to a domestic disturbance call with her partner here in San Jose. Now, I do want to show you this man, 44-year-old Gabriel Carreras, uh, is who officers, uh, who police say shot that officer. After a four-hour-long standoff with police, he was taken into custody. Carreras' wife told police that he was drunk. He busted open a bathroom door, and then she accused him of trying to hit her. She did call police uh, to report this incident around 8.20 on Wednesday morning. San Jose's police chief called the suspect a coward who should never have had a gun. Carreras has an extensive criminal history and was on felony probation in Santa Clara County. Less than 30 seconds after arriving, one of the officers attempted to call up to the front door balcony and announced, to, announced themselves as San Jose police officers. The suspect exited onto the balcony's landing and from a position of concealment, discharged a firearm, striking our officer. Now, according to the chief, the officer was shot in her upper body outside of where her bulletproof vest covers. Neither officer returned fire, uh, but her partner actually pulled her to safety and then began attending to her injuries there at the scene. Now, this year, this is the second time a police officer here in San Jose has been shot in the line of duty. This marks the first time ever here that a female police officer was shot in the line of duty. Reporting live in San Jose, I'm Bailey Carol, KTV, Fox 2 News. All right, Bailey, thank you.